Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, today, I'm just uh, having a, a couple of announcements for uh, some of the announcements that I have made yesterday and some of the press are not present. So we are going to make one announcement of the yesterday and uh, also announcement that I would like to make today. Uh, this is uh, good news from, uh, for industrial player for renewable energy. Uh, first of all, I just want to reiterate, it, uh, reiterate, reiterate what we have announced yesterday on the feed-in tariff quota. Yeah? A feed-in tariff is a, is a system where government subsidizes a renewable energy rate uh, producers to generate to the grid. Yeah? We have revoked uh, 155 uh, renewable energy feed-in tariff quota in September 2018. In Q4, we are opening up, Sedao is going to open up 114 megawatt for applications. This quota will be open for applications by batches, 74 megawatt for small hydro, biomass, 10 megawatt. This opening will be on the 27th of November at 10 a.m. And we are also going to start the first e-bidding process for biogas which amount to a total of 30 megawatt. This is the first time we do the EBD. So we will do a gamma testing on the 25th of October and the actual EBD will be starting on the 19th of November. So for renewable energy player, for small hydro, 74 megawatt, for biomass, 10 megawatt, for biogas, 30 megawatt up for EBD. Now I would like to announce some of the some of the initiatives for the government to encourage renewable energy uptake in terms of solar uh, industry. All of us know that uh, once when we are right now we are looking into renewable energy no longer to be a subsidized type of uh, electricity. We are seeing uh, renewable energy, especially uh, solar panels, seeing a drop in price of 80% of drop in the PV panel since 2009. So that means to say renewable energy generation costs reach, are reaching very close to grid parity and some grid parity. I would like to explain a really little bit of what is grid parity here. Grid parity means that the generation cost of renewable energy levelized through the capital of the total capital of the project per kilowatt hour is the same as the fossil fuel kilowatt hour. That means they are competitive to the fossil fuel. It's no longer need to be subsidized. So we are seeing this happening for solar. That is why the government is going to announce the following so that uh, our solar players will have uh, some rooms. The first one, we, Surahan Jayatanaga, the Energy Commission is going and preparing for large scale solar round number three. And we are going to request for proposals towards the end of the year and January 2019. So the criteria will be announced in January 2019, total of large scale solar of 500 megawatt. I would like to explain a little bit here is that they will have six months for preparation in terms of land, etc. The submission of projects or proposals of bids will be by the third quarter of the year. All right. So for a solar player, please take note of that. Second is net energy metering. For your information, towards the end of 2019, the government actually introduced net energy metering programs. Uh, the quota was determined for 500 megawatt for a period of five years from 2016 to 2020. The breakdown is 120 megawatt for domestic users, 195 megawatt for commercial, 185 for industrial. But after two years of implementation, the uptake rate is only 70, 17 megawatt. Because of that, we have reviewed the NEM policies and here is a couple of initiatives to improve the NEM policies. First, for all users, domestic, commercial, industrial users, we will improve the NEM by allowing the additional energy that is generated to be exported to the grid on a one-to-one -one offset. 
This means that every one kilowatt exported to the grid will be offset against one kilowatt consumed from the grid instead of the displaced cost. This is a new and a good news for our solar players. The second one is this, as the government has also agreed to implement NEM through solar leasing mechanism using the Supply Agreement for Renewable Energy, SARE. Using this method, the cost of purchasing and installation of the solar PVs and uh, electricity generation revenue and electricity tariff will be agreed upon by three parties between customers, investors and the utility company. This will mean that customers don't need to pay upfront costs for installing their PVs. There will be an investors that will invest in the assets of the PV panels and the investors will then uh, talk to the customers on the energy bill. Let's say a savings of 10% of their energy bill and the installers uh, or the, or the, or the um, asset owners will then get a profits of the difference of the savings of the electricity bill. This, one of the companies that will start doing this, but we do not restrict this company only, the government is open for competition. Uh, one of the companies that will first start do this is by the Naga National. They, they have a subsidiary called G Sparks. This will give the uh, also offer the package for uh, commercial and industrial customers. G Sparks will invest in assets, invest in assets, and they will not do the installation. They will give opportunities to all solar installers to be able to do the installing jobs and then the customers will benefit by having a lower electricity tariff through a, 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 a contract or through an agreement with GSPARKS. How do we benefit from this? A few, a few people will benefit from it. The first is the customers. The customers get a solar panel, zero capex. Potential cost savings of the electricity cost because now with the solar panel, you will have an agreement with GSPARKS on what it will be your electricity displaced cost and you get the savings. For the installers, because GSPARKS has committed to not to do the installation works, all the solar panels and solar installers will have an opportunity to be the installers. To the government, we will see an uptake of 20% to reach closer to our 20% renewable energy target by 2025 to big solar investors. Today, GSPARKS is the first, but they are not the last. We welcome all investors to invest in assets to do a big scale solar rooftop solar program. And you will have an equal opportunity in SARE, and I will make sure Energy Commission give the due process on those who do and apply for uh, SARE which is supply agreement with renewable energy. We want to encourage more competitions among all players in renewable energy field, whether it's big players or small players. We hope that with NEM and with large scale solars, with feet opening up, there will be, this will be a good news, good enough for all our renewable energy players. I just want to say this, I want to say once again, Although the government is giving opportunities for all of you to be, we are going to make sure that uh, they will have an equal playing field and all of you will have a chance. But that doesn't mean that you have a chance. That doesn't mean that you, can, you should not give us a competitive price. Yeah? The most important of all of this is that the government gives you an ecosystem, gives you a policy but what I'm asking for you is that all of you will compete and all the most innovative and the persons that can give us the most competitive price will win in this bids. With that I would like to thank you and I wish you a very good day. Thank you. So we open up for the press for questions. Any for energy efficiency? You will hear that uh, Saturday. Yes. This is for renewable energy. Yeah. Any other questions?
um, we are only taking questions from the media, yeah? I, I know that, so some of you who are here are industrial players, there are dialogues and town hall sessions for you, all right? So we are only taking questions from the media. Yeah. Yeah. If there's no questions, let me, because uh, of the complications, yeah, let me just repeat once again, yeah, what, what, is, what are the initiatives? The first one is on the fee-in tariff. The fee-in tariff, uh, the government has revoked 155 megawatt of uh, fee-in tariff uh, uh, in September 2018. And we are opening up for Q4, opening up for Q4 140 megawatt. 74% is hydro, uh, 74 megawatt is hydro. 10 megawatt is biomass, 30 megawatt for e-bidding. First time we do e-bidding is for biogas. Another one is on solar. Solar will be the first large scale solar, 500 megawatt, up for, uh, for request for proposal. And the, announce will, uh, the, 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 the details will be announced latest by January. And we are opening up for uh, receiving the submission of the project proposals will be on the third quarter of the year. On net energy metering, we changed the policies one on one, one to one offset, one kilowatt exported is the same as one kilowatt consumed. The second is for big players, rooftop solar big players, for those who have a, uh, in, uh, who have capital uh, strength on solar leasing, which is supply agreement for renewable energy. On this, the customers will have you will, will be able to get a zero capex zero capex and the potential saving installers will get a lot more opportunity to install because there will be uptake rate to the government we will be able to reach closer to our target and to the investors for these assets there will be a, a profit and there will be a, a constant uh, 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 efficiency gain from you uh, for the investment that you have made I would like to also stress here that uh, LSS, 500 megawatt of LSS, uh, is not a one project. Yeah, is uh, we will be in packages in different projects, of which we hope that uh, more people will get it, but not as small, uh, not too small that it cannot get good financing. And we will also do large scale solar for rooftop. So next year, I think uh, the, 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 we will see a lot more rooftop solar uptake through the SARI, the NEM process, and also the LSS. With that, um, is, if there is no other questions, uh, I end the uh, press conference. Thank you.